Hey guys, me and here from me the bean and today I've created custom crafting in Savanilla Minecraft. So yeah, to craft a custom crafter. I used four crafting to craft it, but other than that, it's in a dropper. So throw down a crafting table and a dropper to craft this custom crafting table. Now I've created two craft recipes and we will be creating one today so like this three two four go you can see we just crafted a grass block and i made it so if you do this you get dirt and seeds back what i really like about this creation you can make it give you any block you want um so yeah the the commands to create the machine that creates it will be in the description. If you want to change the name, um, change it in this command block and um, And, um, here, right here in this command block, and lock, lock, and, um, yeah, let's get into how to create one right now. We have our two facing down droppers here. Now we need to get out the items we want to be able to craft. I want to be able to craft 64 stone with one with one grass block. Block. It's really, I mean, how about? about three grass blocks so here's our input dropper we're going to go like this and our output dropper we're just going to put that we're just going to put our output right in the center this is advanced so you can even put more than one output in one crafting now we're going to build a simple machine We're going to build a simple machine. Now, I want to leave these commands in the description. Now we're going to go execute. Execute at E. Name equals equals um whatever you named your armor stand. I named mine cool. And just like this. We're just going to copy that. Paste it into here. Ugh. Paste. Paste. There you go. Um, now, we need to stand on our input dropper here, type in, in test for, um, blocks, tab, 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 tab. Okay, press tab six times and then boom, boom, boom. Copy that. Paste it into here. Now go here. 
slash C L O clone tab 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 six tabs again and then squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line control A control C control V now now that we've done that, let's activate our command block system. Or was it for gas? I'm just going to grab out free gas blocks like so. Go over to our custom crafter over here. Voila. Do so. You create yourself whatever you put in the put in the output dropper. Okay. Okay. Right, so once you've put in the main commands here, it only takes two command blocks to craft the custom recipe. Sorry guys, um, sorry guys about that, I was going to talk to somebody, and I forgot to go, alt p, like so, yeah, yes, talk about, I craft, let me just talk about this machine, First off, we are detecting for the dropper using this first repeating command block here. And then we're testing for a crafting table. This command block. Now we're summoning an armor stand right at the player's position. Send the block to a dropper. And then changing the dropper's head. We change the armor stand's head to a crack table, and we kill all our items. Our items. Once you've done that, once you've done that, you have a custom crafter. Now what this is doing, doing so we're saying, saying execute this command at, so execute this command at, the custom crafter. Der, der, test. We're going to be testing for the law that's exactly like the one at this coordinates at our custom crafter. Der, and then this comparator says that it's done that. And then we're using the clone command and it's like and it's saying execute at the custom crafter if complete execute at the custom crafter there or the comparator saying if complete complete and then we're going to clone that lock lock over there to the custom crafters dropper over which means means we can craft blocks and that is why the inventory closes on us inventory closes on us I did that one on purpose 
voila, grass block. Eight more of these. Hmm. The glitch. Voila. And then three grass blocks. Six. 64 stone. Yeah. That's how you make how you make a custom crafter we in a line craft. By the way, you can set up a little creation here. I want you two guys to figure that out yourself. So, yeah. The way my creation works is that if you grab out a stone hoe, throw it, you get your craft table back. But, custom crafter's armor sand will be removed. Will be removed. Now it works as a normal face and death dropper. By the way, these are not custom crafters. These are just everyday droppers. Droppers that are facing downwards. Downwards, so yeah. Grab another one of these. Grab another one of these. Voila! The reason you have to be standing in the center of the block is that since the armor stand will spawn right on you. So yeah. Now this doesn't use the slash stats command, so if I grabbed out a crafting table and a dropper. Place one down over here. Craft this thing. Thing. It won't only just give it to me over here. Since it's executing at all of them. Um, it's also giving me one over here. The bad thing about not using this last stats command. But other than that, that's been a. It's been a nice time. And uh, goodbye. So. Yeah, I'll let them make a custom crafter in the new one. See, so, yeah. That to make a custom crafter. I make a custom crafter dirt inside vanilla Minecraft. Craft. Like I said, I made it so I made my I made a little contraption so when you throw down a stone hoe, you'll get your ground table back. And that removes all of them in the world, though. So, I'll punch these down. Down. And, summon an armor stand. You up. Summon it. And you have done it correctly. If you're wondering what this is, it's just a tutorial I found online that I'm probably going to save for next video. Throw down some stone. Make some... You can make your own custom blocks. 